I do it? King Ding back here, breaking news, breaking news happening right now. White rerun. <laughs> Eagles make another move. We are killing it. We are destroying it. We are going to be beasts. Eagles get their linebacker that they needed. They get their linebacker. Eagles sign Devin White. We've been waiting all day for it. We've been streaming all day for it. And it finally took place. Uh, what is going on, everybody? What is going on? What is happening? I'm glad you're here. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Eagles, according to Ian Rappaport, he's saying, source, former Pound Bucks linebacker Devin White is signing a one-year, $7.5 million deal with the Pound Eagles. Now, it's only one year, but we talked about this earlier today on the stream. He may take a prove-it deal to show that he's still got something left. So he'll be very, very, very motivated. What is going on? Holy crap. That's what I'm talking about. Devin Smith. Devin Smith. Devin White. Is a Philadelphia Eagle. Wait here. <laughs> How can you not be happy? How can you not love this? How can you not love this team? What is going on, everybody? Thank you for joining me again. And of course, once I end my stream, once we end the stream, guess what happens? The Eagles sign. They make a signing. Is that surprising? No. That's what always happens. But what a giant move for the Eagles. Right now, they have upgraded their linebacking position. They did not have a linebacker, and they don't have a linebacker on this team that's as good as him. So this is a giant move. What are you guys thinking yourselves? Let me know. Time is yours. Man, that's right. That's right. That's right. They got themselves a linebacker. Now, I'm still going to draft linebackers. You know it. Hey, there's some more of everything, man. Thank you so much for the Super Chat. First one of the stream. Thank you. Philly, am I dreaming? This offseason is insane. This offseason is nuts. It is absolutely nuts. You have to love it, man. What a move by the Eagles. No doubt about it. Unbelievable. It's just like, you know, I just set up everything to do a video. I was going to do a video tonight. Thinking we're not making any more moves. We're not making any more moves. And then big bang, bang, boom. The Eagles are making moves. Holy crap. Devin White comes. He gives you an instant starter at the linebacking position. White rerun it again. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Now we got 1143 people in the chat. Make sure if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like. Make sure you subscribe. Let's get over a 1,000 likes really, really quick. I was just getting ready to do a live stream. Seriously. Subscribe. I, I, I mean, I was just getting ready to make a video. I was going to do a video with Saquon Barkley. We're going to talk about the press conference. We're going to talk about C.J. Gordon-Johnson and how the allegations are fake. And I guess we'll talk about it in here so I can do it all in one stream and I don't have to do a video after. But holy crap. Holy crap. We talked about this. Let's get this banner. Let's get this banner up. Uh, we're going to get this banner. The, I mean, I, I, I tell you what. I know that there are risks with this guy. I know that there are things that people might not like. But overall, why not take the chance like we talked about? Ten. They, they might as well get, get him. He's still better than anything you had. J Jason Rose, thank you for the super chat. He goes, nothing but happy after this signing. He is younger and was a pro bowler. Hope the change of scene brings him back to that. Probably only 40 to four to five with incentives. And listen, he may be the perfect guy to do a one-year deal with because there are talks and things about him not being motivated all the time, things like that. Well, change of scenery and the fact that you're on a one-year prove-it deal that you still have something left. He is only 26 years old, people. Only 26 years old. It's a great, great signing. Philly, how you want me to send the giant rage? Uh, just send it to me uh, on Twitter, at YoPhilly500, if you have Twitter. 
Uh, it's great. Bubba says he don't like it. He was benched twice last year because a locker room problem. Bringing a guy when he already have locker room problems, that's my old problem with the great player, but a problem. But the thing is, is, is I think you neutralize that with the one-year deal. Because if he's not on his best behavior, and if he doesn't do everything that the Eagles ask, it's going to hurt him and what he can get in a contract. you got to think he wants a big deal. He wanted a big extension with them a few years ago. This is the way that you do it. You know, you're going to make him prove it. He's going to have to go out there and prove it. So I think that will negate a lot of that, at least year one. GT, thank you for Super Tagos. Just when I'm out, how he pulls me back in. Mother Humper, I'm telling you, I was sitting there ready to do a video, a recap video of not getting anybody. And then, boom, my phone goes off. And I'm like, oh, what the hell is this now? Somebody wants a cat. And then, no, boom, it's. Devin White is an eagle. I, I like it. I like it because what were your choices out there in the free agency market? Who were they going to get? That's the problem. There is nobody else. And they went out there and they got the best guy. Milo, they were super takers. I'm just pissed we got wait six more months. How the hell are we going to get through this? Let me tell you, we're only in, what, fourth day of free agency? That's it. it we, we, we're not even done yet. The trade hasn't even happened yet. We haven't moved on from Josh Sweat yet. I don't think I would. I don't think I would, Milo. And thank you for the super chat. Uh, A.O. Frost, thank you for the super chat. He goes, at this point, how are we going to have ownership of the Eagles when Lori passes away? Give the man partial ownership is right. You might as well. I would still like Jerome Breaker instead of pay T.J. Edwards $6 million for the Well, T.J. Edwards is not here. I mean, T.J. Edwards is not free agent. You know, he's already gone. Jerome Baker, the problem with him is he's in Tennessee. And from what it sounded like, he's not coming out of Tennessee. So I don't think you're going to have a chance to get him. You know, that that's the issue. Uh, Zay Boogie, my man, he goes, thank you for super chat. Is it true the Eagles are looking to Pat Sertan? Also, image, imagine if we kill the draft and get guys like Trot Jr. Uh, I know, it'd be, it'd be friggin' awesome. Um, yeah, I, I mean, there are reports that that's possible. Uh, that they could call about him. I don't know. I don't know how serious the Denver Broncos would actually be in, in that. Sean Davis, my man, thank you for the super chat. Uh, the whiners and cowgirls are shitting themselves. Oh, you know they're they're scared. They're they're definitely scared, especially them 49ers. Just get Cooper and we are cooking. I, I mean, you still got to draft young when you get into uh, the draft. I still think you go. Linebacker early. I mean, he's only signing a one-year deal, but he's going to be on his best behavior because what is he going to do? Come in, screw up, and ruin his contract? He, This is his chance to get a mega deal. If he goes out and has a good year, whether it's with the Eagles or somebody else, this is his chance. Devin White has potential to be a monster. He's mean. He's got some nastiness in him. I like it. Radiation Buds, thank you for Super Chase. Howie out there cooking Jerry, this is all in. Absolutely. Hey, listen, the Cowboys did make a signing. Let's not forget about the Cowboys signing today, right? They got a running back. Cat Williams on his way to Dallas. Good job. Devin White will break him. James, thank you for a super chat, my man. Appreciate it. Goes Philly, my man. Hell, effie, yeah. That's the guy I wanted, man. This is real. Can't stop smiling. He will prove haters wrong. Listen. There are risks with him. He did have to take a step back. But he was, you look at the linebackers we have. You look at what we have. He's still the best linebacker on our team right now. He's still the best linebacker. And like I said, one-year deal, $7.5 million, that's all it was, right? Well, let, let, let me bring this back up. Um, I Yeah, it's seven, seven and a half, seven. $0.5 million. I mean, it's nothing. It's cheap. It, this guy is clearly, he's clearly playing on a, a prove-it deal, trying to get a big contract. This is a hell of a move for the Eagles. It's a, it's another low, to me, it's low risk, high reward. It really is. Wow. Give Holly the keys to the city, right? Dalton, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it. He goes, now let's draft Edrin Cooper. Perfect. And he's coming in for a visit, by the way. Edrin Cooper is coming in for a visit. This is this is going to be awesome. 
26 years old can be fixed. He's not 30. Let's F it go. Exactly. Change of scenery sometimes can do a guy good. Can find a whole new home, whole new attitude, and, and everything can change. We got 2,000 mother humpers in the chat. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you're new, hit the like. Make sure you subscribe. If you're just getting in here, breaking news, breaking news. Eagles signed former Buck linebacker Devin White to a one-year seven and a half max deal. Seven and a half million dollar max deal. Just a a to me, a signing that the Eagles really needed to do. They had to get a linebacker. And maybe there wasn't anything available in trades right now. Maybe that's what it was. But this is beautiful. Lucius the show. Thank you for the super chat. Everything Philly, you sign off. Everything Philly, you sign off breaking news. Every time, every time I break, I, I get off of here, it's breaking news. That's always the way it works. How we MVP. Yes. I couldn't be more happy than I am right now, man. I am. I am very, very happy. VJ, thank you for super chat. He goes, I told you 500, how he's all in. He is. Now, listen, like I said, second round, I'm still taking a linebacker in the second and the third round. I'm still going to do it. If I could still trade and find another linebacker, I'm still doing it. But, my God, he was the best linebacker on the board right now in free agency. You had to do something. And I think, you know, this guy we know somewhere inside – this dude can play. He can actually go out and play. Right along with Dave. Thank you for the super chat. Says Dallas still stinks. God, they really do stink, don't they? They stink. Kenneth Johnson, thank you for the super chat, my man. He goes, yo, if we could get Cameron Crow or Simmons to Ski Man's Cali. Absolutely. Oh, my God. I would love Cameron Crow right now. You could still go and set that, that whole secondary up long term. This is a great move by the Eagles. Great move, man. Great move. Our boys are kicking ass, man. This team got better at the linebacker, got better at the safety, got themselves a premier running uh, running back. I mean, right now, Eagles are, are the best team in the conference. You know, uh, I, I love it. I love this move. Uh, Ezra Long, thank you for Super J. goes, so, man, how are defense honestly looking to you? Defense is getting there. It's getting there. It's not perfect yet. We still got work to do, but you had to get a linebacker. Right now, Devin White becomes instantly, without question, already he's the best linebacker on our team. He's better than any linebacker right now than we had last year. He. This is a good signing. Now, it's not the end-all, be-alls. I still think you need to draft young linebackers, but you have a veteran in there, somebody that can play and I'm telling you, I really don't want to do the one-year deals. But this guy may be the perfect guy for the one-year deal because he wants to get paid. And he didn't get paid. And people look at him like we've been talking about him, like he had a down year, he's been replaced, it may be bad attitude. He has a chance to come in and prove everybody wrong. And you know when he was at his prime and he was at his best, he was really, really good. So I absolutely love this. Uh, Ezra, thank you for Super Chat. He goes, so, man, how's our defense going to look honestly to you? They're getting better, man, getting better. We still get – I mean, still things to do. Jared, thank you for Super Chat, my man. He goes, 500, I told you I was going to finish in my pants. We signed them. Do what you got to do, but don't tell me about it. Radiation, but thank you for the Super Chat. He goes, 500, we need you to convince Kelsey to come back. I'm on it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grow my beard, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call him up. And, to, and, and convince them. I'm going to do everything I can do. You know what I'm saying? Wait, Reba. I don't know, man. I don't know how you can't be excited. The Eagles are better at linebacker than they were a few hours ago. Mike Wright, thank you so much for the super chat. He goes, Howie must be your alter ego. That's why we never see you both at the same time. I might be Howie Roseman. I really might. I, I might come in. I listen to the chat, figure out what everybody's saying. Then I go off. And then all of a sudden, Eagles make a signing. Every time I sign off, they make a signing. L Lonnie Taylor, thank you for the super chat. We need we need to hurry up and extend Reddit, get more cap, and get some more. What would you do right now? My next move right now, Cameron Curl to safety. I would sign Cameron Curl. That would be my next move. I would, I would shore up another safety spot. Um, get Young there. 
Uh, you're only paying him seven and a half million dollars. His cap, let me tell you, uh, Devin White's cap number is nothing. It is nothing. The Eagles still have a. The Eagles still could make two significant moves without without getting rid of Reddick or, or or extending him. Not even adjusting his contract yet. You can do it. You know, Mike Wright, man. I'll thank you again for super chat, man. Appreciate you so much, man. Thank you. He says Cowboys are all stinking in. They're all stinking in. Listen, Cowboys went all in. They went all in and got Cat Williams. Cat Williams, the next running back of the Dallas Cowboys. They lost out on AJ Dillon today. They stink. I would rather have I would rather have White than Kendricks. I mean, come on, are you kidding me? The kid's 26. I I think this is like I think this is a move that you needed because you needed bodies. You needed somebody that could come in and actually play the linebacking position. Now you got it, and he's only 26 years old. Now, what is he going to do with it? What is he going to do? What is Devin White going to do with his opportunity? Because if he goes out and has a monster year, he'll get paid. No, Noology Gaming, thank you for Super Chat, my man. He goes, big balls, Howie Roseman. You ain't kidding. So you said to Insta, all right, I'll, I'll have to check it out when, when I get a chance. I definitely will, man. Thank you. Devin White has the potential to be a great player. When, No doubt about it. He, he definitely does. What the hell is this one guy talking about? Is he a moron? Death Row South, thank you for the super chat, man. He's a Super Bowl champion. Yeah, and he played really good in that Super Bowl, too. No doubt about it. I, I love this signing. I mean, I'm not going to sit there and tell you um, he's going to be Ray Lewis. I'm not going to tell you there's not risk. I'm not going to tell you there's not issues with him. However, he's still the best linebacker you had. He's better than anybody you had last year. He's still 26 years old. And he still has a chance for a clean slate to go out there and show that he's worth what he thinks he's worth. A few years ago, we talked about trading for this guy. And we wanted to trade for him, but he wanted a ton of money. Well, it went south there in Tampa with him at the time. Now he's got a chance to come in and show he's a star. I like that motivation. Dre Diesel, thank you for the super chat. He goes, A5, how much money do we have? I think we have somewhere around the $27 million is what somebody told me earlier today about $27 million under the cap. And that's before this signing. However, he's only signing for a max of seven and a half million. You probably figure two, three million of that is guaranteed. I bet you he has a cap number around three or four million at most. So it'll be this clearly for Devin White clearly is going to the Eagles to prove that he is worth what he's worth. He's taking a one-year prove-it deal. I love when guys are like that and they're motivated, you know? But you still got to go address linebacker. We're not done. Not done. YouTube public, thank you for Super Chat, man. Everything you're saying is happening. Go young. Yeah, yeah, it is. Hell yeah, it is. 500, where did you get that hat? Uh, Eagles website. Eagles website. Eric Kendrick's an old, old cowboy. Uh, Kev Smitty, thank you for the super chat. He goes, Cowboys are all in trouble. They all stink. They stink. They don't know what the hell's going on. They're fighting over money. They're got, they got reports of alleged assault, uh, you know, extortion. Jerry Jones is celebrating his 8,070th birthday today. He's 8,071 years old. He's on a yacht at 8,072. And, you know, they're, they're wasting time. Eagles are getting better. They can't even sign A.J. Dillon. A.J. Dillon said, I'd rather play as a backup in Green Bay than a starter in Dallas. How pathetic. Uh, Digital Print House, my man, David Super Chat. He goes, I'm so excited. Howie Vision merch. On the way, let's have a go. Yes, let's do it. Uh, email, thank you. And being a member for eight months. Fly, Eagles, fly. Now make a deal. Patrick Sertan, too, or Curl? Patrick Sertan would be, I mean, great. But you're going to need, you're going to need to get, um, you're going to need a monster trade. I don't have to trade anybody for, um, I don't have to trade anybody for Cram or Curl. I could just go get them, you know? How many likes we got? We got we got to get to a thousand likes. We got over two thousand people. Hit that thousand likes. Let's push this mother humper, and then we won't ask anymore. 
Let's see, man. I love it. James, thank you for the super chat, my man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I'm sure Cilio's not happy. I'm sure. He... Hey, guys. Big Sills here. No, Eagles hire another malcontent. Another malcontent. Horrible, horrible move. He hates He hates everything that's good. When it's bad, it's bad. When it's good, it's bad. Big Sills telling you the Eagles made another stupid move. Howie Roseman. I'll take this move in a second. I'll take it. VJ, thank you for the super chat. He goes, I bet to the end free agency and extend Slim Reaper. That's coming. They, they've got they've got essentially a whole nother year to have to worry about that. Philly Shizzy, thank you for the super chat. He goes, we still have Isaiah Rogers to take Avante spot. We have Isaiah Rogers, and we, we could end up drafting a corner or whatever. I, I think they need to keep sweat, you know. Uh, keep sweat, keep Reddick one year. Look at what we're building here, man. We're, we're going to be nasty. If if Devin White finds himself and finds his game and plays like we know the talent that he has to play, he's going to be nasty. This is going to be a nasty team. And I like – he's got a little nastiness in him. You combine that with C.J. Garner. I, mean, I love what the Eagles are doing. I love it. Now, Ishmael Julian, thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, fly, Eagles, fly. I need to make some – Move for curl or PS2. Let's go. It's coming. They're going to make another move. GT, thank you for the super chat, my man. He goes, Mark is setting up, setting up a dynamic, a dynamite under the red brick house. Mark is probably going, well, Devin Wade is not as good as Kendrick's because Kendrick signed with us. That's what he's saying. Space Cadet Entertainment. Thank you for the super chat, my man. Uh, he goes, yo, Philly, I get the same Wawa tea. My wife seen you wear it during one of your season posts and go and got me one for Christmas. How about that? How about that? Tell your wife. She's smart. Very smart. That's awesome, bro. That's awesome. Yeah, man, this is crazy for sure. What a, what a, what a, what a move. Howie Roseman. I'll tell you what. I love it. I love it. Um. Let me see here. Yo, 500, what are we going to do with Dean? Dean's going to play, hope. I mean, Dean's going to get a chance to play, but you still got you still got to get more linebackers. Dog W. Dave for Super Chain. Philly, I can't stop la laughing at these cow cowgirls coping, acting like they're happy. Jerry didn't call King Henry laughing my ass off. They want to be us so bad. I know. They didn't even call Derrick Henry. And then they lost out on, on, on what's his face? Uh, A.J. Dillon. Uh, Mike Wright, man, thank you again for Super Chat, man. You're, you're generous, man. Thank you so much. How much do you think Curl will cost? I think he's cheaper. I think he's cheaper than C.J. Gardner-Johnson. I, I don't know exact price range, but I think I think you'll be able to get him cheaper than what Justin Simmons is apparently asking for and also cheaper than what, um, what you paid C.J. Gardner-Johnson. So I think it would be okay. Just breathe this, this in for a minute. Jalen Hurts, Devontae Smith, Jalen Carter, A.J. Brown, C.J. garner John, Saquon Barkley, Devin White, Jake Elliott, and possibly Reddick. I know. It's, I mean, if you're Reddick, you, you, Reddick's got to be going, nah, I think I'll play one more year here. I think I'm okay. I think I'll play one more year. Tyree, man, Dave for Super Chat. He goes, how are we going for it all, man? He's going for it all. He still has money, and uh, I still think the big, some big shocking trades are coming that that are going to benefit us greatly. Uh, we'll, we'll see what happens with, with Sweat. You know, it's crazy. White had a captain badge for a reason. Uh, they they got to stop the cap. He did. He he was very good. I mean, he had a down year. He did, I believe, lose his job. I believe all that's true. But he's 26 years old. We know what this guy can be. We have seen him at his best. Now, you bring him in for one year, and you say, listen, we know how talented you are. We know what you could do. This is your opportunity to go get yourself a huge contract next year. I, I freaking love it, man. I love it. This team is going to be better than 22 Eagles. It's got all the potential to be. And there's no doubt about it. It has all the potential to be. We got 749 likes. Make sure you hit that like. Make sure you subscribe. Let's get over 1,000 people or 1,000 likes. Let's do it. Eagles are loaded. We're getting there. Eagles getting players of free agent because they have trash defense. Dallas getting nobody because their, their whole front office is trash. You got a quarterback 
paying $59 million. Poor Cowboys. Poor Cowboy fans. You ain't got nothing. How does it feel to know that your team doesn't want to win? Um, ST, sh shut the FU sportscast. Thank you for the super chat, my man. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. I love this, man. I love it. Fly Eagles Fly is right. Twits, what's going on, Twits? We did it again, Twits. Man, I love this. How much cap do we... I, I'm thinking... I think we went from what somebody told me. We, we had $27 million going into today. So we probably have 26 and a half. I mean, I don't think for Devin White to take a $7.5 million max deal... It sounds like it's incentive base. Uh, it's not gonna. He's not gonna cost much against the cap. The Eagles can make at least two more significant big moves. No question about it. One hundred thousand percent. We got twenty three hundred people in the chat. Thank you guys for being here. Let's get over a thousand likes and break this algorithm. Dimitri Barnes, thank you for the super chat. White rerun. We cooking, cooking, cooking. I love this man. I love this. How can you not be pumped up if you're an Eagle fan? I don't get it. Look what we're doing. We're out there making moves, man. We don't sit around and wait. We go out and we try to get better, you know? And 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 I, I love it. Is Devin White any good? Yes. Devin White was like one of the best young linebackers in the league a few years ago. Kind of fallen into, fallen off the wheel, so to speak, um, in recent years. But he's only 26 years old. We know how talented he is. And, and a lot of people think that the change of scenery, going somewhere else is what he needs. And the Eagles are bringing him on a one-year deal, which means that he's going to be on his best behavior. He's going to be motivated because he's going to want to go get a big contract. We talked about trading him two year, for him two years ago because he wanted huge money. And he didn't get it. And he didn't get his extension. And right when he didn't get his extension – his play sort of fell off. And you got to wonder if not getting the contract kind of demotivated him or was bothering him the whole time. So now that he's coming in motivated to play with the Eagles, he's going to have a monster year. He's going to have a Pro Bowl year. I predict it right now. Devin White will be a Pro Bowler this year. So that's what I think because we, we talked about getting this guy. I did videos on him like, you know, he wants a new deal is right when he was up for an extension. Um, they didn't pay him. And that's right when his, 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 he kind of fell off. I mean, he was fantastic in the Super Bowl that they won. He was a captain of this defense. No, I like this move. I like it. I'm probably at thank you for super chat. He goes, this is awesome. How he out for blood. Hell yeah, he is. Richard Henney, man, thank you so much for the Super Chat. He goes, we win the Super Bowl this year with all the pieces we added. What's Joey Shakes think about this piece we had? I assume he's going to be happy. I assume he's going to be happy. I haven't talked to him about it, but I'm sure he's happy. Tyler, thank you for the Super Chat. He goes, this is why you can now pair Shaq Leonard with Devin White because at one time Shaq was an all-pro as White, and he's only 27. White's 26. Shaq Leonard's, what, 30? Uh, White is 26 years old. I think White was unhappy. This is my theory that I think he fell off because he didn't he didn't get his extension. And I think it bothered him. And, and now he's going to come here with a prove it. Hey, if you go out there, you play good, you're going to get paid big time. Somebody's going to pay you. So why not? And Vic Fangio knows what he's looking at. Vic Fangio will get him to play good football. Uh, what is it? Like it? Thank you for the super chat, my man. Goes, how he's cooking. Devin was the infinity, the last infinity stone. Yeah, now he's got all the electricity going through his body. <sighs> yes. Now we're going to snap. Let's snap Jerry Jones. Oh, snap Jerry Jones is only 10,000 years old now. He gained 10 years, 10,000 years. Joshua Davis, Super Chat. Once talking heads get the hate out of their heart, they'll realize Howie and the Eagles have a flawless free agency. Wild. Health will be the only thing from lifting the Lombardi. Fly, Eagles, fly. Thank you, Joshua. Appreciate that so much. And that's what it always comes down to, health. You got to be healthy. Every team has that same 
thing. They got to stay healthy. That's what I want to know. Yes, he's good. He's he's good. He he played he played down to his talent this year. Like he underachieved. But how good is he? How good can he be? No, he he's he could be one of the best linebackers in the league. Talent wise, yeah, very talented. Richard Henning, thank you for the super chat. He goes, Eagles. And Kansas City rematch Super Bowl only if Jason Kelsey was on the team, if that happens. Do you think that Jason Kelsey looks like this at all and goes, damn, 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 why not? You you, you, you just got to wonder, right? And thank you, Richard, for Super Chat. Knock it off. Thank you for the Super Chat, my man. He goes, yo, Philly, can we get a little The Brother Screwed Us in honor of Jerry screwing the Cowboys fans? Do I have that? I don't have it. I, I don't have I have. I don't have it on me. I'll have to get it for tomorrow, but I'll I'll do a lot of them tomorrow. I will be streaming tomorrow during the day again. I streamed all day. Wait, this is like the second time this week it happened. I wait all day. I get off the stream, and as soon as I get off the stream, the eagle signs somebody. It, it's it's crazy. Ryan, thank you for a super chat, my man. Uh, besides the draft, what moves do you think is next? It's hard to say. I think that you got to watch the Josh Sweat trade. I also think that I would not be surprised if the Eagles go out and get another safety. I just would not be surprised to see that. If not that, then I would look at something on the line. I would not be surprised if they sign some sort of offense alignment. Uh, C. Tate, thank you for. Although I kind of think they'll they'll probably wait till draft for that, but. <sighs> This team, man, they, and they could always still get another linebacker. See, Dave, David Superchat goes, I believe Light will have will have a great year under Fangio. Bring in Trotter Jr. Cooper to get a starting caliber cornerback. Let's go. I mean, that's and that's the other thing. Go get a go get a couple young linebackers behind him. That's what I would do. Don Brown, man, David Superchat, he goes, Did you see any of Kelsey comes? You see any way Kelsey comes back? I think that it's possible. I don't. You know, I don't know him personally, so I can't speak for him. But if it was me, and as I retired the way that I did with the way the season ended, now I see what the Eagles are doing this year. Why not come back and say, you know what, I'm going to come back one year. This is no matter what. This is my my last year. It's my farewell year. But I come. I think it's 50 50. I think we got a chance. We need to lock up White for three years. My guess, Chris, is that based upon the fact that he's getting a max deal of seven and a half uh, a year, he's playing for a big contract because he wanted a big contract. Um, he wanted a big contract when the when when he was what in his last year of his rookie deal or whatever. He didn't get what he wanted, and then his play started to fall off. I think it's connected. Because what they say about him is that when things go bad, he gets down. He, he's the kind of guy that put his head down and things like that. But when everything's good, he's absolutely fantastic. He probably was down, you know. And now he's got a, a clean slate to go out and prove what he's worth. Screaming Jerry Lee, man. Thank you so much for the super chat. He goes, Devin effing white. Let's effing go. It's huge. Instant starter. You're instantly better at the linebacker position. You just are. That's the way it is. And nobody can stop you. It's absolutely fantastic. You got to love it. You got to love it. Um, Trey Diesel said, uh, Devin, bro, Devin White had two interceptions last year. Yeah. Yeah. His, his last year was not a good year. He didn't have a good year. It's fallen off. However, he's still, he's still the talented guy that, that kicked the Kansas City Chiefs ass in the Super Bowl. He's still that guy, but I think I think he needed a change of scenery. But geez, a thank you for Super Chagos. Eagles versus 49ers game going to be wild. Yeah, and that's the other thing. He's got a little bit of nastiness. He's got toughness. Now we got two guys that have some swagger, have some toughness, and I love it. You know, him, C.J. Garner-Johnson, two type of attitudes you did not have last year. You did not have. Lonnie Taylor, thank you for Super Chat. Can our new linebackers coach get these guys right? Yes, I think they can. I mean, he's coming from Tennessee. Uh, he's dealt with a lot of good linebackers. He's made a lot of good linebackers. I think we got the experience to do it. Yes. 
Luke's of Hazard, thank you for the super chat. Oh, my brother, testify. What up, Philly? If there's a potential to trade up in the draft, who would you like? Arnold Latou Turner. I'm going to go Quinion Mitchell, the cornerback. I would go him unless I need to go and get myself a defensive end or edge rusher. Then I think Turner, Latou, I don't know if he'll get out of the top 10. But um, I like Mitchell at a corner. I really do. Dominicho, thank you for the super chat, Paisan. Oh, thank you, uh, Luke's a hazard. I'm sorry, it was Luke's on that one. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Dominicho, my man, Paisan, what's going on? Thank you for super chat. Because this could be one of the best bet off seasons ever. This may be the best free agency period I can remember. Um, I mean, 2022 was really good, but that a lot of that came from the A.J. Brown trade. We haven't even pulled something like that yet. Can you imagine what we pulled up like that? going to be crazy. We're almost at a thousand likes. We got 953 likes. Hit that like. Make sure you subscribe. Let's break the algorithm and get to a thousand likes. And 916, thank you so much for the super chat. Philly 500 math, 8,000 plus 10,000 equals. <laughs> Hell yeah, it does. Oh my God, dude. I'm so dumb. Thank you, man. Dude, I'm, my mind's racing. Like, like I'm just, like, dude, I I was, like, ready to make a video and talk about the press conference. And, and then, boom, Devin White comes out of nowhere. Hell yeah. T.L. Hopkins, thank you for the super chat, my man. He goes, Dak is going through the sexual assault case, too. I know. And and to me, I, I said this. I believe that's a plan. I, I believe that whole thing comes out when he's under trying to get a new contract. Lemonade, thank you for the super chat. He goes, just for today. We got to see how lonely the Cal Turks feel by doing nothing. But this is the Eagles. We know how to make a free agent pickup. Yeah, you know, we were talking at the, in the stream uh, earlier today. Like, it, it was too quiet. Something's going to happen. It's too quiet. Something's coming. What is it going to be? You felt it. We all felt it. And then, boom. In Flight 215, thank you for the super chat. And thank you guys for getting over a 1,000 likes. It really helps the algorithm, helps them to push this channel. In Flight, thank you for the super chat. Rumor is A.J. Dillon is not signing with the Cowboys. No, he went back to the Packers. Get this. Get this. He would rather be the backup running back in Green Bay than be the number one running back in Dallas. That's how pathetic Dallas is. When a guy doesn't even want to play for you and rather be a backup, Richard, any day for Super Chat goes, I heard the Eagles might trade for Denver cornerback draft day. There's a lot of chatter about this Patrick Sertan stuff. I don't know what to make of it, you know, but I, I listen, I think it was Jeremiah, um, what was that guy, Daniel Jeremiah? He mentioned him talking about him or Asante Samuel Jr. It's like, what? So I don't know if there's truth to it or not. I don't, I don't know, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Morgan Holmes, thank you for the super chat, my man. He goes, a man can be an artist in anything, food, whatever. It depends how good he is at it. How his art is winning. He's about to paint a man. Oh, man, he's painting, he's painting a masterpiece right now. He he sure is. Screaming Jerry Lee, thank you for the super chat, my man. He goes, now we need to, another Carter type defensive tackle. Are you, I mean, you're going to draft the third defensive tackle in the first round. Would you guys do that? I, I, I think we got to trust Jordan Davis and Jalen Carter are going to take that step. I still like Milton Williams. I think we got to, we still got to get another pass rusher. Don't, you know, let's go out and get like, like, I don't know, another pass rusher. Tuka, thank you for super chat, my man. He goes, Texas boy is salty cowgirl. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, he's got they got nothing going for them. What do they what do they have going for them? They've got nothing going for them. So yeah, it's crazy. I mean, Devin White, man. We're talking about Devin White coming to the Eagles. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy right now. Wow. Only 26 years old, man. Love the sign. I love it too, JP. I'm telling you, I remember clear as day doing a video. He, I, I don't remember if they were picking up his option and there was talk that he wanted an extension or a trade. And he was, this is when White was at the top of his game, man. One of the best in the league. And they didn't give it to him. And then his play started to decline. 
I think it's connected to him not getting a big contract. I think he got sour. And I think a change of scenery is exactly what he needs. Dude, this could be the steal of steals. Forget Saquon Barkley. I mean, I think we all know what Saquon Barkley is. But Devin White comes in and plays to the level that we know he's capable of. Uh, this is going to be the biggest steal in free agency. The biggest steal in free agency. Seriously. Duncan Wright, thank you for Super Chat. He goes, I think the Winers want our affirmation. Hell no. Don't give it nothing. Don't give them nothing. I was in a debate with Cowboy fans today and Giants fans, and the 49ers fans are trying to throw themselves in on NFC East Hall. They're trying to get in on our, our debates. It's like, no, no, you're supposed to be neutral. You're not supposed to be ganging up on us with the Giants and the Cowboys. Annette, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate you. 500, may I respect for your passion. So fun. Always tuning in. Extend Smitty. Grab Curl. Bring back Reddick. Ball out in the draft. Dallas still stinks. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. I, I do. Thank you. Um, Yeah, it it's crazy. It's, it's, it's always fun hanging out with you guys. We did this four hours today with nothing, nothing, nothing. Then boom. Devin, and you know what? I'll do. I'll, I'll take that every single day. I might start like coming on and sign off, then come back on and sign off. So we sign people. Jewel, thank you for the super chat. Five hundred. Don't forget to add White to the banner. Yeah, I got him in the first breaking news. Eagle signed linebacker Devin White. Then I got Eagle signings. I'll put him in there too. Uh, as soon as um, I'm done this for tomorrow. John, thank you for the super chat. Uh, Justin Simmons will be the cherry on top. Five hundred. I. Oh, man, can you imagine Justin Simmons now? Holy crap. Because that would give you another veteran. But, you know, I'll take Cameron Curl. I'm okay with Cameron Curl, you know? So did I go to pray to out? No, I, I went to work. I went to, I had to work. Maurice, thank you for Super Chat. What if we get Chase Young? See, I, that's what I would do. That, that might be Cameron Curl or Chase Young. Go get Chase Young. Go get yourself another pass rusher. Load up, man. I, I love it. I, I think Devin White and C.J. Gordon Johnson both give you attitude that you need. Now, Devin White, like I said, he does have risks. He's got to show that he still has it, that he still can play, that he still has all those things. But I think the fact that he's on a one-year deal, I think he's buy, I think he's investing in himself. I really do. Screaming Jerry Lee, thank you for the super chat. 500 with the coaches and the weapons. Neither Hurts or Sirianni have excuses. If either of them fail to test how he just gifted this offseason, how he vision. You ain't kidding. You ain't kidding, man. It, it, it's unbelievable. There's no excuses for, for Sirianni. That's for sure. Lonnie Taylor, thank you for Super Chat. Can we start a petition to get Kelsey? Who's with me? Definitely. We need Kelsey to come back. One more year, Kelsey. One more year. You leave no matter what. Everybody knows. Come back. Uh, to have a one-year farewell tour, and let's go win a Super Bowl. We need a cornerback round one. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you on that. You a fraud. They were super chat. He goes, Dak better not drop the <laughs> he, he might. He might He might be in trouble. Richard Henning, they were super chat. He goes, uh, just imagine Darius Slay and Pat are two outside corners. I mean, that would be crazy. Patrick Sertan Jr., top two, him and him, him and Saul Scarter, best corners in the league. I don't know if they're really capable of trading. I, I honestly don't know, but there's a lot of chatter about it. I'll, I'll tell you that. Why would be look, – look at Wesley Rock. Where you been? The Dallas Cowboys waited till they signed old-ass uh, Kendricks to come in here and say something because they couldn't say anything when they didn't sign anybody. Now they, they got this old linebacker and they think they did something. So now they're back. They stink. What a pathetic team that is. Sports all day. Thank you for the super chat. Philly end the stream so we can get Simmons. <laughs> yeah. Well, once I get off of here, don't go get Simmons. That's exactly what will happen. Paul Fetter, thank you for the super chat. He goes, White, who famously said Hurts can't read D in playoff. And at the time he said it, kind of was, you know, Hurts was still learning. But that attitude, that is the attitude I like. That is the attitude of nastiness, a kind of a meanness, right? I kind of like that. 
you kind of didn't have that last year. Now you have two guys that are starting right now. You look at the Eagles, right? You look at everything they've done right now. Um, Saquon Barkley, instant starter. Uh, Devin White, instant starter. C.J. Garner-Johnson, instant starter. And then you got Huff, who, depending upon what happens with, with, uh, you know, with Josh Sweat, instant starter. So you've already – the Eagles have put four starters – on this team already. And I'm telling you, everybody's going to sleep on White. They're going to dismiss White. They're going to tell you White isn't good. They're going to tell you he has not left. He's old. He's shot. Whatever. I'm telling you, it was mental for him. He wanted his extension. Didn't get it. Was kind of pissed off. Now, he's got a clean slate. One-year deal. He's motivated. And I think he's going to have a monster year. White, White is going to end up being the steal of this free agency. It ain't going to be Parkley. It ain't going to be CJ. It's going to be White because White is going to be old White. And we get old Devin White from a few years ago. It's over. It's over. Majiza, thank you for Super Chat. He goes, flying out to Philly to watch a game this year. I might have to do the same. Although I'm scared to fly. Every time I turn on the news, something happened. A door opened. They forgot to put... Close a gas tank. I'm like, oh, man. Richard, hey, thank you for Super Chat. He goes, have you ever called 94.1 Sports Radio? When I was younger and teenager, I used to call WIP all the time. Back in the day, G. Cobb, he used to work there. I used to call. He he would work on Saturday nights, I believe. I used to call then. And then I call, I used to call uh, Anthony Gargano. Um, I have it in years and years, but I, I have before. I never called the Fanatic. But um, I called 610 when it was 610. It was 610 WIP AM. That's a touchdown, ref. Dave or Super Chain goes, yo, is Simmons still available? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. How he must be working with his agents to calculate the calculations of the cornbread and get high, the right number. Very well could be, man. Very well could be. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is like the craziest all season. Uh, what do you think, cat? I'm going to eat you, cat. I'm going to eat you. I'm going to eat some cat tonight and celebrate. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Come on, baby. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Yeah. Wanna, what do you think? We got Devin White. You like that? Yes. 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 Go play. Go play. What a great, what a great day. White might be white might be huge. What I'd say is go watch Tampa Bay versus Kansas City in the Super Bowl. Go watch Devin White. That's what that's what I want. That's who I want. I think we can get him. Listen, he's going to be he is going to be Oh man, I have to make a lot of babies tonight. I'm going to have to make some Devin Whites tonight. But he's going to be so motivated because he's on a one-year deal. If there was ever one guy that might benefit from the one-year deal, it's him. Trayvon, thank you for the super chat, my man. I appreciate you. GT, thank you for the super chat. He goes, Des Bryant tweeted, Eagles are freaking, aren't freaking around. That's right. The Eagles are loading up, man. We are loading up. I can't wait. for this. How the hell am I going to make it till August? I, I need a time machine. Does anybody own a time machine? Oh, Isaiah Rogers going to be a stud. Going to be a stud. That's like that's like the free age, a big free agent pickup that you for completely forgot about. We've completely forgot about him. He's a he's going to play too. It's a whole nother thing. I mean, that was such a smart move by Howie Roseman to get him when he did. Richard, hey, thank you for super chat, my man. He goes, Jack Stahl just signed with the Giants. Did he really? See ya. I, I, I'll be okay. We'll be okay without that. Without him. But let, let me tell you, the Giants defense better not allow more than 10 points or the Giants are going to lose. Rodgers is, uh, well, they haven't reinstated him yet, but uh, it, it's coming. It, it's not going to, it's not going to be much longer. Ro Rodgers, well, people tell you play outside. The Eagles brought him in to play nickel from what, what they what I've read about it and what they said is they want him to play nickel. That's why Avante Maddox was let go. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how they go. But I assume he's gonna play the nickel. Five hundred, uh, why do people compare this offseason to the offseason Chip Kelly drafted 
all those players knowing it wasn't Howie. What, what, what the, the year that they traded McCoy and stuff like that? Because they got a running back. I think that's the year they got DeMarco Murray because they got a running back. They assume Barkley is DeMarco Murray. It's not even the same thing. Yeah, Stahl's dead to me. Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to lose my mind now, right? How much money we have left? Somebody told me, and I can't say for sure, but we were around $27 million in cap space today. So this isn't going to cost you any, much of anything. It, this is a $7.5 million maximum, probably going to get like a $4 million, $3, $4 million signing bonus, something like that. So we, we probably got enough for two significant moves at least. And don't forget, if you restructure Reddick, that's an instant another $11.5 million. Chip Kelly wasn't with the Dream Team. That was Andy. Yeah, Dream Team was before Andy Reid. The Dream Team was the year that they had no cap. Remember, there was a year right before a strike. They had no, there was no cap. So the Eagles went crazy. We aren't done. No, the Eagles aren't done. Dallas might be done, but the Eagles aren't done. That's for sure. I can promise you that. Prove it deal. Hungry dogs run faster. Love this deal at this price. I know. It, it, the fact that it's a one-year, $7.5 million deal tells you the Eagles are not, not overcommitted. They don't lose anything. And if this guy plays up to what we know he can play, uh, it's 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 a can't-lose deal. He is playing to get his contract. He's going to be motivated. He is going to be on his best behavior, and he is going to be a monster, a menace. Ross found, thank you for the super chat. He goes, all we have are five loaves of bread and two fishes, they said. Jesus said, bring them here. How he said, let me work the numbers. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. How he just fed 5,000 of us. Well, we got 21,000 of us, 2,100 of us. 8,000 plus 10,000 equals 10,000. That's my Philly 500 math. Dallas is done, done. They are. Dude, when, when you have a, a running back like A.J. Dillon, who was backing up a running back for his whole career, having a chance to go somewhere and start, and would rather go back to the team and back up a new running back, uh, that's as pathetic as you can get. He would rather be a backup in Green Bay than a starter in Dallas. Does anybody know where we are in cap after Devin White? Somewhere somewhere around $27 million under. Somewhere like that. Screw it. Get Simmons. How he's going uh, down as the best GM in history. They're going to do something. They're far. The Eagles are far from done this year. Uh, you know, I, I it's going to, this is crazy. We knew this was going to get crazy because Howie Roseman has never had this kind of cap space ever to work with. And now it's like, forget about it. AJ Dillon don't want to play at Devin White twice a year. That's exactly what it is. Kelsey ain't come back. We'll see. Does AJ Dillon have any ties to Corey Dillon? I don't believe so, but I don't know for sure. Sign Terrell Owens. The, the, the Cowboys might have to. Kelsey's coming back. I think it's 50-50. If you're Kelsey, you have to be going, man. I, I My papers haven't been turned in yet. Why not? Nobody wants to go to Dallas. Players and fans watch Dallas waste their time. Jerry don't even give it. Yeah, he don't care anymore. It's true. Philly 500, did you see Saquon already talking about his dominance? Talking about what? Talking about the dominance of him and Hurts in the backfield. Yeah, I haven't I haven't watched the press conference yet. You want Sertan 500? I, a lot of people want him. A lot of people want him. Let me see here. Somebody said there's sound. You guys hear me loud and clear? Devin White was number 20 of the top 100 players in the NFL in 2021. This will be very, very interesting. Yeah, he was 28. He wanted a big contract. They weren't going to give it to him. And then his, his play started to fall off. I think it's mental. I think he was bothered by that. And I think the clean slate and the fact that he's on a one-year prove-it deal, I think he's going to ball out. I think he's going to end up being the most underrated signing. I do. I think this is going to be the most underrated signing that there was in the NFL. 
What a pick. What a move by Howie Roseman is right. You ain't kidding. So this is very, ACP ball, what's going on? He goes, this is very huge move. Finally, great linebacker. Let's go, Birds. I know. I, I mean, it, I, I don't know, man. I don't, what, what I see the Eagles doing is just adding starters, add a starting running back, add a starting safety, add a starting linebacker, add another edge ed rusher. It, they're just adding starters and players. This team is so much better than they were last year. It's not even funny. I don't think C.J. Garner Johnson likes press conferences. Those guys, if, if he does a press conference, it wouldn't be till tomorrow because they'll come in, they'll sign, and then usually the press conference the day after. So we'll see if he has one tomorrow. 41 to 33, thank you for the super chat. He goes, wouldn't be surprised if he gets extended midseason if he's playing well and meshing with the team. Howie, MFC, and Kelsey staying home, unfortunately. I wouldn't be surprised either, you know, but if you listen to what they said about White, tremendous talent uh, when everything's going good and, and they're on top, he's a monster. But when things go bad, he could soak his head like, you know, like what happened to us at the end of the year. I don't know how he would have handled it. This is just what they say about him. However, uh, his play has fallen off. But I think if you look back at when he wanted his contract and didn't get it and wanted to trade and didn't get it, I think that's when his play fell off. Now he's got a change of, of scenery, a clean slate, and he's got a chance to go out there, kick ass, and go out and get paid. So I absolutely love it. Poon Jab, what's going on? He goes, 500 CJ Garner Johnson will push Devin White to play the ball. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dylan says, Devin White was a beast at LSU. Great pickup for your Eagles. Thank you, Dylan. Thank you, my man. Philly Reed, Mark Holmes has a <laughs> what? Mark has a two inch, I guess. The hell would I know? This is how we do it. Exactly. Uh, Matt shouldn't have signed with the Cowgirls. He's going to air that team out, man. Watch Dallas after draft up again. Another Mozzie coming to Dallas. Dumb. Dallas is going to start to get desperate. They're hearing the fans and, and, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna blow it again. I think I think right now it's legitimately you could say that the Washington Commanders are a better team than the Dallas Cowboys. Hey Phil, I heard Devin was benched because he didn't like playing for the Bucks. Devin will ball out. He didn't. I'm telling you, his play went south when he didn't get his contract extension or trade. That was it because we were do I was doing videos on trading for him back a few years ago. And it was like, this is he's one of the best linebackers. And if you go look at the Super Bowl he played in, go watch him play in the Super Bowl against the Kansas City Chiefs. It, it was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. We're gonna chase as soon as we get off, as soon as I get off of YouTube, they'll probably sign Chase Young. We got twelve hundred, we got twenty one hundred people in the chat. Thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, appreciate it so much. Let me see. Any other moves? Man, I, 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 wow, I mean, wow, man. Unbelievable. What a great, what a great, great day. The Eagles, man, they did it again. Saquon Barkley is worth every penny if he forces this team to run the ball more than five times. For a, oh, they're going to. They're going to. And you know where they're going to kill? He's going to kill it. They're going to kill a play action. So, I mean, dude. Play action with Saquon Barkley, and you got Devontae Smith and A.J. Brown Goddard. Forget about it. This team is, right now, I think the Eagles, out of all the teams, especially in the NFC, I think the Eagles, rightfully, you could say, have made the biggest jump, have improved the most, especially out uh, them and Green Bay are the two teams that are contenders that have improved the most, in my opinion, you know. How he's the most dangerous when he goes all out. Yeah, when when Howie Roseman goes all out, and I say this all the time, when he goes all out and he's aggressive, the Eagles' seasons are always great. They always have great seasons. They go to the Super Bowl, and, and that's the way it is. This, this may be his best offseason yet. You didn't add Devin White. Devin White's not, he's not 30 years old. We're not talking about a 31-year-old guy, a 33-year-old guy. We're talking about a, a linebacker who's 26 years old, and he's already won a Super Bowl, and he was dominant in that Super Bowl. 
I mean, it's like, I don't know. I don't know what else this guy could do. It's really, it's amazing. What Howie Roseman has done is amazing. And it's only going to get better, man. Only going to get better. <sighs> hey, Philly 500, speaking of pennies, what are the Eagles going to do with Penny now that Penny's gone? Penny, Penny's gone, you know? We still, we still was 10 and 1 last year, Super Bowl, or I can't get over it. Uh, listen, last year was brutal. I get it. I get it. Not not anymore, though. White will be great spy for running quarterbacks like Mahomes and Danny Dimes. He he's got some he's got some nasty to him. Bro Simmons talking with the Lions, Philly. Time to end the stream and wake up to a Simmons. I'm okay if we don't get Simmons. I want, I want, I want Cameron Curl. That's who I want. I might have to stay in here a little longer so Simmons signs with them. Simmons wants a lot of money. I, you know, I'll take Cameron Curl, man. I'll take the young kid. I'm a big Eagle fan. Me too. I don't know how you cannot be a big fan of what this team is doing, man. Seriously, I, I just don't know. It's unbelievable. Uh, Gainwell will be there, I think. I think Gainwell stays. Uh, Elaine says, uh, Silly, it was good to see everybody from the NovaCare greet these guys today that came in and signed their contract. It was also, yeah, it was awesome to watch. It was a hell of a day. Oh, my God. I got stuck at work. Had to go get my daughter to school because she was so sick. She comes home. She's throwing up all over the place. And then we get on here. Then I'm able to get the cats to find him a home. And then now we got Devin Waite. It was a good day. Today was a good day. They will keep Gainwell because the locker room likes him. And he's decent. I, I mean, might as well keep him at this point. I'd still add a running back. I, I definitely would. You know, why not? Funny how players are great until we sign them. Saquon, Devin White, CJ Garner, Jonathan Huff. Yeah, they're all great. You should have every, everybody wants them. Then the Eagles get them, and then they stink. They're overrated. That's always the way it is. We're going to be nasty next year. We're going to be nasty. Drew says, we have to call the cow turds the brown brick house because they shit the bed. I like it. I like it. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I hope she feels. Oh, uh, thank you. Yeah, she's not feeling well. A uh, random says, who getting the first round for Quinion Mitchell. How about that? We're going to get Mitchell. That's what I say. How about Mitchell. You think that will work? That'll be good. This is awesome, man. This is awesome. What a what a great move by the Eagles. Is it September? Oh, my God. Can you tell me how long is it going to take before we have to wait? It, it's going to be a long, long all season. Yeah, I want Ed Drew Cooper, too. And I still think the Eagles could add two linebackers. I really believe that they could end up adding two linebackers. Don't be surprised if it happens. It really could. It's going to be interesting. Wentz for a backup. I don't want anything to do with Carson. Leave him. Let him go. Let him go. I'd rather have Justin Fields than Carson. To be honest, be honest. I think I think Kelsey needs to come back, man. We only need Kelsey to win the Super Bowl this offseason. The best since the last team time we were at the 27. I want a player from Georgia, Alabama, first round. You'll probably get it, to be honest with you. They'll probably do exactly that. We don't want Woogie. No. Yeah, if somebody does it, t just get them out of here. I don't need any racist crap. 
not doing that shit, you know? Hell no. Philly, the Eagles learned from last year not to go 30-year-old wash player in one-year deals. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think this is different. Like, I see this as different. Like, he's a, a, a one-year deal, but he's 26 years old, and he clearly wants a one-year deal because he feels he's not getting what he's worth. He had a big extension coming. They didn't want to give it to him, and, and then everything went south for him. He comes out, and he balls out. He'll be 27 years old. And he'll get a monster deal. So it just makes sense. You know, we're trading down for a linebacker around 25, 27. I think we're trading up. I think we're trading up for an edge rusher or a corner. We'll get a we'll get a we'll get a linebacker in the second round. We got two second round picks. We got what two third round picks? Do we have two third rounds? We'll be fine. Just when I thought I was out, how it drags me back in, right? Right? No question about it. Make sure you guys hit that like. Make sure you subscribe. I will be on here again tomorrow. Uh, don't forget. Uh, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Trotter Jr. I mean, why not? At this point, why not go out and get Cooper and Trotter Jr. or something like that? Yeah, I love it. I, I absolutely love it. JH, thank you for the super chat, my man. Appreciate you so much. Thank you. Too kind. Uh, can't wait for Mark to cry and cope. Oh, he'll have an excuse. Oh, well, you know, the Eagles did this and the Eagles did that. And he's not that good anyways. And, you know, blah, 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 blah. You know. And then Sills is on there going, hey, Big Sills here. Oh, uh, the Eagles. What is Howie Roseman doing? What is he doing? Another malcontent. A malcontent. I'll take him. A 4133, thank you for Super Chat. He goes, how he's embracing the best player available in the draft, setting it up so he can take the best on his draft board. No position of need, I think, to trade up also. I I totally agree. And listen, the great thing about White is if White is playing really good, like let's say he goes out there and he's playing like fantastic. He's just going out there, he's killing it. You just sign him, sign him, extend him. The guy's 26 years old. Prime of his career. The only reason he took steps back is because he was not happy being in Tampa Bay. He Remember the rumors where he asked for a trade and he wanted to be traded? I mean, we, we dealt with this. We talked about this guy two years ago, like right after he won the Super Bowl or when he was eligible for his extension. He wanted out. Mark is going to say Eric Kendricks is so much better. He's already starting to try to say – he already tried to say that Kendricks was one of the best signings in free agency. The guy's old, got a cane. He, he's got a cane. Danny Moore, thank you for Super Chat. He goes, PFF trying to rank White as one of the lowest grade linebackers for the past three seasons, even though he was ranked 20, 21, 65, and 22, top NFL. Yeah, some of their rankings and the way they do things, I got to tell you, I never buy into. So I, I, it doesn't matter what they say. Now, I will be honest. I, I have to say he did fall off. For a few years, but it's only it only lines up with when he wanted to out of Tampa and he wanted a contract extension, didn't get it. That was why. That was why. Jeffrey Davis super chat. He goes, Howie is a Dallas kryptonite. Howie is the complete opposite of everything that Dallas is. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, Jerry Jones, he, he's nine thousand years old. He just turned, it's his birthday, 9,001 years old. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man, I love this move. I love what they're doing. I love this team. I love this team. I love what they're doing. I can't wait to see what happens next. It's just crazy. It really is crazy. It still is crying. Is he really upset about this? Pro 49 fan, you all are back. To 2022 form again, I believe Jalen Hurts. Thank you, man. Thank you, Joshua. It's going to be interesting, man. I, I think the best four teams in the conference right now, in no order, I won't put it in order, but you have the 49ers, the Eagles, the Lions, and the Packers. Those four teams are competitors or you know for the Super Bowl. Dallas, they're falling down the drain because they're doing nothing. Everybody's just passing them by. But I think those four teams. Packers, Lions, Eagles, Niners. They're the they're the they're the four main teams that are competing for a Super Bowl in the NFC. 
Uh, Dave says, my favorite part of this signing is if he plays angry, this city is going to gravitate towards him and boost his confidence, which will take his game to another level. Man is going to get paid next year. I agree. I agree. The change of scenery is going to be epic. This will go down, in my prediction, my hot take is this will go down as the most underrated free agent signing this year. It will go down as the other. Now, what would I like to see the Eagles do next? Chase Young or uh, Cameron Curl? Go get yourself another pass rusher or go get yourself another safety. Go get a young safety, 24, like Cameron Curl. I'm totally awesome with that. You know, Lysa says, what's up, Five? What's up, my man? How are you? Why Curly does nothing exciting? Because I think he'd be a perfect complimentary piece with C.J. Gardner-Johnson. I think he would be a perfect complimentary piece. He's only 24. He's only going to get better. And I think that if you got him, you shore up your secondary with young guys for years to come. You go out, you get Justin Simmons, you get him for a year or two, and that's about it. So that's that's why I would do it. Theodore says, blah, blah, blah. Well, blah, 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 you. Quez is a free agent, is even on – no, Quez is not a free agent. Uh, I mean, he's not a, he's not on the roster. Quez, I don't think Quez is coming back. I think he's gone. Why? We got blanket ship. That's, well, you just answered the question. Why do we get in our safety? Because we have bl- Reed Blankenship. I don't believe Reed Blankenship is a legit starter. I, I like Lee Reed, but I think he's a really good depth piece, a guy that can rotate in. I don't know that I see him as a legitimate starting safety. Uh, I'm not saying he can't be that. I need to see more from him. But right now, I think he's a backup. And I think he's a very, very good backup. And if you have him backing up, let's say, Curl and, um, you know, uh, C.J. Garner-Johnson, you could put C.J. Garner-Johnson at times in the slot. You could do so much with him. That's why. Sidney Brown, I like, but he's coming back from injury. It may take a few years. Random fandom, thank you for the super chat, my man. He goes, Brian Johnson really effed me up this season. I'm glad we changed coordinators. I'm still worried about Sirianni because Kellen will get hired if he's good. Kellen will definitely be hired if they're good. That's true because he's almost got a head coaching job uh, in the past. Yeah, expect it. I think we're going to have to expect that. So you concerned with stopping the run with Huff, Reddick, and Smith at the edge? And Yeah, I, I, I worry about it. I think White helps it some, but I think that it's really going to fall on, on Jordan Davis, man. Jordan Davis has got to be better. When Jordan Davis was good last year, nobody ran against us. So we 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 got to we got to shore that up. He's got to be ready to go. There's just no doubt about it, you know. Bad dog is talking dirt on us, and Saquon's still on his life. Eh, let him talk. You know why? You know why bad dog's talking, right? We broke bad dog. Breaking bad dog. That's what happened. Breaking bad dog. Breaking bad dog for the Giants. And the Cowboys signed Cat Williams at running back. Good job, Dallas. I I absolutely love it, man. I I, I don't know how how any Eagle fan can't be excited about what's going on, what we've done. I mean, it's going to be a fun season. It's already been a great offseason. I mean, it's actually, it's really, this is like craziness. This is actual craziness. Devin White was good many years ago. He is below average linebacker, probably equal tomorrow or more expensive. I disagree. I disagree. I think he has fallen off the last few years. That I agree with. But he's only 26 years old. And the thing I like about him is that he's got something to play for. He got a one-year deal. His play diminished when he wanted out of Tampa, when he wanted a trade, when he wanted an extension to get the money he wanted. That's when it suffered. Now he's coming with a one-year deal with a clean slate, with a chance to come and go out there and earn a big contract. I like where we have him because I think it's going to be mental for him. I think it's going to be motivation. And I think he's going to turn in to the biggest free agent signing the Eagles had this year. That's how I feel about, about him. So, We'll see. Uh, Pujab, thank you, man. He says, Philly 500, Kelsey's going to come back to. I give it, I say 50-50. If I had to guess, I'll say 50-50. 
Uh, this is like you're not paying a guy top dollar. The guy's coming on a one year max seven and a half million dollars maximum. That means with incentives and stuff like that. This is a this is a uh, I'm going to prove myself kind of deal. He's taking he's taking a one year prove it deal. His motivation is I want to have a huge year and get a giant contract, and he's going to have a chance to go out and do it. Yeah, Jack Stoll to the Giants. He can't catch anyways. Nugakwe is available. Yes. Yes, get them likes up. Absolutely. Oh, man, I love this. I love this move. I love it. And I know there's more moves to come. What are you talking about? Oh, you got your toy? The cat's got her toy if you hear. Oh, this is going to be good. Ken says, I haven't been this happy in an offseason, and I feel the pieces they got make sense and will work with each other. Now draft the best player available and become a dynasty. Absolutely. You ain't kidding. How can you rank the Eagles so high in what? Uh, best in the conference? Because this is this is legitimately a team that was 10-1 and one at one point. The collapse and the reasons for the collapse – that's a whole nother issue. Those things have been solved. Now you have a team with a lot of talent, just got a lot talented, a lot more talented. They've had what? Uh, star running backs, instant starter. They got another pass rusher starter. They got another line. They got linebacker starter. They got another safety, a safety that they needed that provides attitude starter. This team is stacking up and they're bringing in guys who are going to start right away. Not to mention that, our whole coaching staff has changed. And now you got experienced guys, coaches who have been around and know how to use these guys. The Eagles are going to be just fine. They're going to be just fine. Trust me. Oh, man. Got to love it. Boy, we've been streaming all day, haven't we? It's what, 9 o'clock on the East Coast? 6 o'clock where I'm at. Y'all better stop sleeping on Den White. This man's play like his hair on fire. That's what I think, too. He's going to play like his hair's on fire. Is right. I agree. Big, you uh, see, says 500. Also understand we have, to, we have hired linebacker coach Bobby King. Right, the linebacker coach that transformed Aziz Al Shair's career in Tennessee last year from 102, 44 tackles in 2021 to 162 tackle in 2023. Yeah. Yeah, and, and 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 Vic Fangio knows how he wants to use Vic Fangio knows exactly how he wants to use White, and uh, you got a linebacker coach. Uh, well, we got coaches with experience. You know, when things go sour, we got guys that can make adjustments. Didn't have that a year ago. Didn't have it at all. So he says we are transitioning to three four defense. You think how he will look for a hybrid defensive tackle, defensive end? A player who can stop the run and run pass rusher. There's some talk that, that they'll go after another defensive tackle somewhere, and they might. But I, I kind of think that they kind of got it. I, I really like Milt Williams, and I think he can play that role. Heard anything about Brad? The last thing I heard about Bradbury is that the Eagles could be looking to extend him to make his contract more friendly to possibly try to trade or get rid of. So... We'll see. Y'all better stop sleeping on Devin White. That's right. That's right. When I look at that hat, I see nothing that says Philadelphia Eagles. You don't see eagle wings? Maybe you need glasses. I see eagles right, right there. Right there. You hear them eagle wings? Screaming Jerry Lee, man. Thank you for the super chat, my man. He says, last time I was this hype was when we when we got Blunt and AJ Ajayi. I know. I mean, the, the la I would say this, the Saquon Barkley thing was really good. I, the AJ Brown draft night, I felt like this. When they got AJ Brown in, in the draft. I, that's how I feel right now, you know?
Joe says, I feel you keep saying he was going to prove a deal, but he wouldn't prove it last year to get a better deal this free agency period. Yeah, and and that was probably, you know, something that he wishes he could have back. But, you know, you know how it goes. You get stuck in one place. You want out. You don't get out. You want extension. You don't get extension. You're not happy. You kind of coach is sour on you. Things sour on you. Things happen. It's just not a good vibe. It's not a good thing. Now, you go somewhere. People look at you and judge you completely on a clean slate. Uh, it's a lot easier to start over sometimes than try to make it work. And according to the what they say about his personality, uh, I could see that really bothering him and holding him back. Now he's got a clean slate. I'll give you another example. Jeremiah Trotter for the Philadelphia Eagles left, goes to Washington, plays, gets hurt in Washington, stays in Washington, um, comes back. Is horrible. Everybody's saying he's shot, he's done, he can't do it on the field. The Eagles bring him back. People say, why did they bring him back? He's shot, he's got no knees left. And what does he do? He goes out and he plays like a pro bowler. Eagles go to the Super Bowl. He had a couple years, I think, as a pro bowler. So change of scenery can help a lot for a player sometimes. That's just the way it is. So I'm not really worried about that. If, if Worst-case scenario – the, 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 the people that are not happy about white, the people that are un, think it's a bad thing and all that, what's the worst scenario? You have a guy on a one-year deal making a max $7.5 million at max with incentives, max deal of $7.5 million? All right, he's not playing good. You have to bench him. It doesn't cost you anything. It's not like they tied in for, for four years, five years, $7 million. They didn't do that. So it's not a big deal. It's a, it's a low-risk, high-reward. If he plays like we've seen him play in the past, it's going to be the biggest deal of free agency. I truly believe that with all my heart. But we'll see. We'll see. All right, let me get this set up here. Man, what a long day. I don't think I'm going to do a video. I think, I think I'm going to go eat and chill out. But, uh, yeah, Devin White coming, absolutely fantastic. Let me thank everybody. Uh, if you haven't, hit that like. Make sure you subscribe. Thank you guys so much for being here. Um, I'm going to let you go. I'll be back tomorrow. I'll try to be on around 12.30, 1 o'clock Eastern time, uh, and we'll see if the Eagles do anything on another day of free agency. But Devin White coming to Philly, absolutely uh, just amazing. I love what the Eagles are doing. 41 to 33. Thank you for super chat. He goes, we need a second tight end. Most now got her. Most now got her, her often. Well, I'm getting off uh, offline. So the Eagles will probably make another signing and I'll be back in about 20 minutes. So look for that. But th thank you for the super chat. We do need another tight end. I, I agree with you. I totally agree with you. All right, guys, with that, I'm going to let everybody go. You guys have a great, great night. And uh, I will talk to you later. Peace out. Peace. Yo, you got plenty of time. Come on. Oh, oh shit! Dad! Oh, no! Dad. It's oh, over! Shit. It's over! This game is over! Cut it off! It's over! Fuck. That's, that's... Congratulations, Green Bay! Congratulations, Green Bay! Congratulations, Green Bay! I said run the ball. Congratulations, man. Green Bay! Dad Prescott, you need to be fired today! Mm. That was on you, Dad! That was on you, Dad! That was on you, Dad! I said run the ball. That was on Dad Prescott! Trying to feed the fantasy lamb! Trying to feed the sea lamb! You tried to feed the sea lamb! You got to give it the sea lamb! God! It's over! It's over, Dad! Put Trey Lance in the game! Trey Lance can't do worse than you! I'm, a, I'm an idiot because I buy into this shit. I buy into this shit. Because here's the thing. I am a grown ass man. And I talk the talk. <sighs> it is killing me. Cut it off. It's over.